G'day, lockdown, uh, week two, day something or other, raining like cats and dogs about now, so uh, we're gonna, oh, oh what, ah. out of cider. Well, it was nice while it lasted. How about beer o'clock at a zoom? It's raining like cats and dogs. We're gonna do something with the steak today. Do it with. Good day. Welcome to lockdown week something day whatever I said. So today it is raining outside. Not that nice. So I kind of want to create something nice and warm and. Yum. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I've run out of cider, so I'm going to have to have a have a homemade Bailey's instead. Oh, let me get that out of the way over there. Cheers, guys. All right. So the other week I bought a little steak and I cut that little steak into thirds. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of those thirds and I'm going to cut that into four steaks. Okay. Alright, so now that we've got that third cut into four all even sized steaks, we're going to lay that down on the board and we're going to season them. Right, so once we've got our steaks all nice and seasoned, what we're actually going to do is we're going to chuck them all in a big plastic bag. So I'm going to lay these all out in a plastic bag. This is a food grade BPA free plastic bag. They're microwave safe and you know all that all that jazz. So we've got those there. I'm gonna seal that. Not all the way, just partly. Most of the way. Alright. Wanna say hello? Hello. Hello, internet. Yum, 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 you should got a steak. Whoa, look at the steak. All right, so now that we've got our steak in our bag and it's almost sealed, what we're gonna do is we wanna make this pretty much airtight. Well, as airtight as we possibly can. Uh, there's two ways to do that. If you've got a vacuum sealer, cool, you can stick it in a vacuum seal bag and go and take all the air out of it and it's vacuum sealed. I don't have one of those, unfortunately. I ain't fancy pants. So what I've got is just a plastic bag with a little zip thingy. What we're going to do is try and get as much air as possible. We're going to drop this into a big bucket of water. And we're going to slide that down into the water, keeping our open edge at the top, of course, so no water gets in. Slowly taking the bag into the water as much as possible, which is going to force any air that's been in that bag out. And once we get basically the top, then we will seal it, like so. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, four stakes and pretty much an airtight sealed bag. And now this seasoned steak is ready to go into the sous vide machine. Sous vide, you ask? What is that, you may ask? Well. That is a sous vide machine. Basically, it is something with a little temperature control that basically heats up water that you stick stuff in and then it like, you know, cooks it in the water all through and then it's like good. Sous vide is French and it means under vacuum. 
So basically we're un vacuum sealing the meat, we're putting it in the, the water and it's, it's cooking. Right, it's ready to sous vide. So we are at uh, temperature, so we're at 56.56 degrees. So that's kind of what we want because I'm working on medium rear steaks. So 56 degrees and we're going to go for about an hour to an hour and a half. I've got the timer on two hours because I've got myself a little bit of leeway. But we are only going to be cooking these for an hour to an hour and a half. So what we do is we take the lid off here and we make sure that our bag is all sealed. And then what we're going to do... So we're just going to drop that into the water bath like so. Stick that in there. We're going to fold the little opening just over so then it will never go in the water. Put our lid back on. Like so, in there. These are our steaks sitting in our water bath and they're going to be cooking through 56 degrees for about an hour, an hour and a half and they're going to be beautiful. Now once they come out we're going to finish them off uh, on the barbecue, um, sear them both sides, uh, get that fat cap nice and rendered and uh, pair with some vegetables and a nice red wine and mushroom stew, which I shall show you how to make shortly. Right, now it's time to make a creamy red wine and mushroom sauce to go with the steaks that we are sous vide. So over here I am frying off some mushrooms. Beautiful. From that we are going to add half a cup of a beautiful red wine. This is a He He Melbeck 2018. Very nice. Very nice. Half a cup of that. In it goes. We're going to add a bit of salts and peppers. Once we've done that, we're going to let the wine reduce. Once that red wine is reduced by about half, we're going to add some cream, about a quarter of a cup. Stir that through. Once that's reduced, we're good to go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, a lovely creamy red wine and mushroom jus. Now that the meat is sous vide, all these are lovely done, uh, right medium rare, all the way through. What we need to do is take them out now, pat them dry, and then take them to a barbecue. Sear them both sides, they're ready to go. You can use the juices that have come out in there to make gravy if you wanted. I haven't. Uh, I've just stuck with the red wine and mushroom uh, without the beef stuff. Um, but you can if you want to. So, yeah, now it's just time to pet these dry and get them on the barbecue. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Job done.